This is, God's going to use this. And I looked at my own father who loves me so much, who we, we lost everything. We were going through some really difficult situations in our own family, but I saw that my dad would do anything to make me well, take me to any doctor, any place, do whatever it took to make me well. And I'm like, you're seriously, you're telling me that my God who created me would put sickness on me? There is something missing, but I did not know the truth. And you have to know the truth in order for it to set you free. If you don't know it, you cannot be free. And I was under this bondage for 14 years. I was taught that this is good. This is going to bring glory to God. And you know what I was just thinking about? Because I've had all these opportunities to share this lately. And I'm like, Lord, I, <laughs> I'm like, I'm in awe of what he's done. And the thing is, I remember as I was young, I was so ashamed of being bald that I would think, Lord, it just needs to pop up. Like, I just need to wake up and it's just real hair, right? But do you know what? When I got to college... I was at this turning point, like, Lord, you're either real, you're going to do what you did in the Bible, or I am, I'm over this. I'm over this life. And so it was just this turning point for me. I surrendered everything I had to the Lord, and that was this wig. And I took this wig off, and my parents saw me bald, and my family saw me bald, and my whole entire college campus saw me bald. And you know what? A couple years later, I'm still bald. And I'm like, Lord, you know, I'm free, and whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And I was free, and I could go swimming, and I could go running, and I could do whatever I wanted to do without worrying about this wig. I was free. But I was still sick. And I'm still like, Lord, what am I missing? And so I went home one day and my tactful father, who is so loving, <laughs> said to me, you know, it's your fault. You're sick. He had just gotten a hold of this word. And I'm like, I think he's watching this. Dad, <laughs> you could have said it nicer. <laughs> I was so mad, but I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to listen to Andrew Womack. I think I'm going to give it a chance. And I got filled with the Holy Spirit and I started praying in tongues. And that is a difference maker because revelation just kept coming and coming and coming and coming. And I listened to one sermon. I was in the car driving. I was listening to You've Already Got It by Andrew Womack. It literally changed my life. I looked at my bald head in the mirror as I'm driving and I said, here you grow in the name of Jesus. You grow in the name of Jesus. You call things that are not as though they are. I did not have to see my hair. I knew I was healed and I just started praising him. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, all that is within me. Praise his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, who forgives all my sins, who heals all my diseases. That was done on the cross 2,000 years ago. I was waiting and waiting to be healed. All along, I already had it. I already had it. It was already done and my hair started growing and it started started growing and growing and growing and it keeps growing and I am healed and do you know what I was just thinking about if the Lord would have just healed me right and it would have just popped up do you know what the world would have never seen me bald but the world saw me bald and do you know what the world right now is seeing me healed and that is for you you don't have to leave this place sick you can leave this place healed. You just have to take the word of God. It has already been provided. You don't have to wait to, for anyone to touch you, anyone to lay hands on you. It is yours right now. Amen. <laughs> wow, are you guys fired up now? <laughs> That's awesome.